Monday Night Raw might not have The Rock, but they do have Rock Bottom, and they are getting dangerously close to hitting it, as Monday Night Raw loses almost a million viewers since WrestleMania 40. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Fog Wrestling here to look at the WWE Raw ratings for the 22nd of April show. And it is not good. The ratings have went down. The ratings are getting lower. I'm sure next week's will be even lower. And it's to be expected because, to be quite honest, since WrestleMania, WWE has sucked. WrestleMania 40 was good. You know, I will admit, night two, I really enjoyed it. Thought pretty much every match outside of the Bobby Lashley one was good. I was interested to see what would happen now that Roman Reigns is no longer the champion for the first time in four years. We had a um, big movement with the championship on Raw as well. However, since then, it's, it's been downhill. It has been downhill big time. The Rock turned up on Raw, then he left. CM Punk showed up on Raw, then he left. Cody Rhodes appeared on a few shows. Cut the same old boring ass promo as he cuts all the time. What do you want to talk about? I don't want to talk about you. You suck. And then the last few shows, he's not been on them. On Raw, we've got two mid-card guys competing for a world title. Yes, Damian Priest and GSO. They're not main event level. They're not world title guys. Yet they are competing for a world title. And on SmackDown... We don't get to see Roman Reigns. We don't get to see the fallout of the Tribal Chief no longer being champion. And we have a bunch of guys that have been, again, booked in the mid-card, challenging for a belt that Cody Rhodes can't even be bothered to show up on, on the blue brand. We have nothing in WWE right now. It does suck, and I'm not surprised the ratings have went down. This week's Raw ratings... 1.597 million viewers. So, if you remember a few weeks ago, the night after WrestleMania, Raw did 2.36 million viewers, and now Raw is doing 1.597 million viewers. So, so close to 800,000. We're getting to that million viewer territory mark and I think we will get to it. I would imagine over the next couple of weeks I think that Raw will hit 1.3 and I think they will exactly lose at least a million viewers if not more. It might go lower but these shows suck. They really do fucking suck. WWE hasn't put on a good show since Wrestlemania. We don't get the main event guys. We've got mid-card fucking guys. You look at Raw last week. Sami Zayn, Chad Gable. Why they're main event in Monday Night Raw, I do not fucking know. On SmackDown, we don't get Roman Reigns. We don't get to see Roman Reigns' reaction to losing the belt. That should be a big deal. Roman Reigns was a champ for four years. I want to see Roman Reigns' reaction. I want to see Roman Reigns trying to get that back. I want to see the fallout. In the bloodline and how the bloodline are reacting to their tribal chief now that he is no longer the champion. But we don't get Roman Reigns. We get Solo Sokoa who's a fucking loser. We get Jimmy Uso who hasn't won a match in five years. And we get Tama Tonga, a guy that nobody knows or gives a single solitary fuck about. Why would we care? Why would we care? The women's division, absolute pants. Bailey, I mean, I don't know why people pretend to care about Bailey. She's got a fat ass or whatever, but who cares? That that's her only redeeming quality. The, the women's division fucking sucks. Damage control suck. Bianca Belair is the cringiest person possibly ever in wrestling history. Jade Cargo. Hasn't done anything since showing up to WWE. She's flexed her muscles. She's competed in a crap six women's tag team match at Mania. Who cares? What what's the gimmick here? She's teaming up with fellow black women. That that's it. Oh look at this. We're we're strong, independent black women. Who cares? I don't fucking care. On Raw, we have Damian Priest, a guy that should not be world champion, defending the belt against a guy that should not be competing for the world championship. Uh, you don't even get to see Gunfer. Gunfer loses the belt, an, an almost two-year title reign down the drain. Do we get to see Gunfer's reaction? No, we don't. I don't understand it. Back in the day, 
that was a big part of wrestling. When somebody lost the title, they were on the very next show. They were wanting to win it back. They were desperate to get a rematch. They wanted another opportunity. We don't get to see shit now. You don't get to see dick. You, they just they just disappear. You, they lose the belts. They go away. And then they come back. All the momentum is dead. The people that defeat the champions, they don't really get the momentum because the champions just disappear. It's almost like they were just handed the belt. Sami Zayn beats Gunther. Do we get to see the reaction and follow it to this? No, we don't. Because Sami Zayn, first thing he does after he defeats Gunther, Gunther disappears, Sami Zayn takes on jobbers. I mean, what are we doing? This is fucking awful. People can say that wrestling's good, people can say that Triple H is cook. Triple H ain't cooking shit. And if he's cooking anything, it, it doesn't deserve to go in mouths. It deserves to go straight in the fucking bin. I wouldn't even recycle it. No. Is it edible? Probably not. Anyway, that's it. The, the raw quarter hour ratings will be out soon. Uh, I will break them down. As for the viewership, 1.597 million. Uh, the demographic, 0.52. The show sucked. The show absolutely sucked. And if we look at the YouTube clips, there was nothing good. There was nothing good. You put CM Punk and The Rock on the show, and I can guarantee you they are getting well over a million views. Those, their clips will be hitting 2 million views after a few days. People will want to watch The Rock. People want to watch CM Punk. Nobody wants to watch what we got last night. They don't. Was there a couple of things I liked on the show? Yes. Do I like Sheamus and Drew McIntyre? Yes. Do I think that Chad Gable is pretty entertaining and can cut an okay promo? Yes. Is that enough though for Monday Night Raw? Is a couple of decent things on the show enough to make us want to tune into Monday Night Raw? No. Becky Lynch winning yet another belt. I don't know how many that is she's got now. Something like 27 world titles. Do I care? No. I don't. Raw just sucks, guys. We're going we're gonna to end it here. I'm sick of people pretending that this is great. I, I really am. I do not know what you're watching. If you think wrestling is great now, th there's no way you could not have possibly watched... The best errors of wrestling. If you think wrestling is fantastic today, you must have only started watching wrestling like within the last 10 years. So there's no possible way you could have watched the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era, the, the good old days in the like early 90s or whatever, the 80s when there was actual fucking stars like Hulk Hogan running around. You could not have watched those errors and somehow watched today's error and believe that we are in a better place now than we were back then. It is just not possible. So all these people that think wrestling is great now, you must be new to this. You're only watching in the last 10 years because this is shit. It is shit, guys. Raw is shit. We'll see what it does next week. I think it will do a 1.3. Maybe not next week, but give it a few weeks. I would say definitely buy what? By the end of May, I think WWE Raw will be hitting 1.3. Probably not even by then. Maybe even by the... But we've got one more Raw in April. Maybe not April, but I maybe even halfway through May, I think we could see Raw go into the 1.3 million territory. Show wasn't good. If you think this show was good, you are lying to yourself. And that's a fucking fact. John Cena says he's prepared to do one more run. He has pretty much indicated and alluded to the fact that he wants to do a full-time run and that he wants one year out of Hollywood in order to get a good WWE send-off. That's what they need. That's what Raw needs. That's what SmackDown needs. Get Cena back for a year. Give him the fucking belt. Put him in multiple segments. Have him pretty much take up 50% of the show. I mean, do whatever you can do. But we, we need stars in this show. And we don't have it. The stars are gone. There's not many left in wrestling. You've got The Rock, John Cena, CM Punk. I mean, they spent the last, what, decade trying to build up Roman Reigns. And the guy's on a... <laughs> he's on the biggest part-time schedule I've ever seen. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like, Triple H can book guys like Sami Zayn, Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, Sol Zakoa, uh, Cody Rhodes... These guys, you, you can put them in main offence. They aren't main offenders. 
They're not draws. It's as simple as that. Catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.